something but I'm going to attempt to vlog today and I want to cook with you guys I want to show you guys a recipe that I'm doing today I had a long day and I just worked so hard and I just feel like I deserve like a dinner so that's what I'm doing for myself I'm making myself dinner and it's shrimp pasta so I'm gonna try to give you guys every single step that I'm doing and show you guys what I'm doing I already started so I thought why not film it because really like I have not vlogged in a long time so I'm just gonna vlog this cooking too much talking so I can show you guys right now this is my can you see Oops. this is my shrimp and then I'm making some pasta and I already started frying um, some uh, garlic and so I'm gonna continue frying it because I just went upstairs to take my camera and start filming so I'm gonna continue frying everything show you guys garlic back in okay so that's the on the garlic so now I'm just gonna put the onions this is all the ingredient that I already cut and this is all the seasoning that I plan on using so next is the onions garlic is uh, getting softer I'm just gonna I put it like really medium and I'm just going to take off my shrimp that has been boiling and uh, I'll be right back because I need two of my hands later and peel off the skin but obviously I'm gonna do that off camera because I need two hands to do that and that's done so this is soft enough so I'm gonna add the red pepper for a couple minutes so it gets a little softer I will be right back so let's chit chat a little bit while that's cooking um, what are you guys doing today comment down below what are you doing right now and do you guys know how to cook who cooks for you who cooks your dinner every day do you cook yourself do you use recipes like you know what I mean? What's your favorite meal and things like that? Just let me know what you like. This is almost ready. I think it is. In there, I'm just going to throw in a sauce. Tomato sauce. It's like I'm just going to do a little bit of tomato sauce, okay? Maybe a little more like... Just a little bit like this. It's enough. I'm gonna throw in a little bit of red pepper, but I like keeping the red pepper not cooked to put it on the pasta too. Like, I don't wanna fry the, the green pepper all the time. I like to keep some of them that's like not fried. So I can put directly on the pasta, okay? So this is my pasta, it's just waiting. Everything that I'm doing here, I'm going to transfer it to my pasta, so. This is just step one. <laughs> Listen, I'm using one hand, that's why I have to do all this. 
So I'm just gonna mix that. I for 10 minutes and I didn't want it to be too soft. So you don't want the pasta to be too soft at this point. So all that's here is garlic, onions, red pepper, and a little bit of green pepper. Next step is coming right up and I just need to go uh, peel my shrimp and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back with the next step. As you can see, I have butter here. So I'm just going to make a sauce, um, kind of like Alfredo, but just like homemade. So just enough like that and I'm also using the same pan because it's like why would I not like I want all the sauce that I use already to, you know to transfer And just stir okay trying to stir it while holding a camera wasn't that easy so I had to turn the camera off but you just gotta stir it like this you know what I'm saying at this point I have to take it off the fire fire it's gonna get too thick up here yo I honestly don't know how youtubers do it but this is so annoying like Cooking with the camera all the time on is actually getting on my nerves now. Anyways, I'm mixing. This is the sauce that I added. I don't really need to mix it perfectly now because I'm going to have more things that I'm going to add in there. So for the shrimp, what I'm doing is I'm just going to season it here inside of this uh, little bowl. I know I don't have that much shrimp. I wish I had more, but... That's all I have here in at home and that's all I'm going to deal with, you know? So I'm just seasoning it using my seasoning team over there. And I just mix it, mix it, mix it. And this is a little bit of oil. We're gonna put it in there. Shake, shake, shake. Now, in this shrimp mixture, I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of red pepper. I mean, uh, green pepper. A little bit of cilantro. And a little bit of, this is jalapeno and uh, onion, but it's like a red onion. We're gonna put everything in. Yo, it smells so freaking good right now, like, so good. A bit, you know? Uh, let's, let's let it fry for like five minutes. Let's do a little talk, okay? You know what I'm gonna do actually? I'm literally gonna do a mukbang with my own homemade food. I'm gonna do a little mukbang. So I'm not gonna eat in private. I'm gonna eat with y'all and I'm gonna do my very first mukbang. Are y'all ready? Are y'all ready? Yo, my window right now does not have like a the thing that stops mosquito from coming in. So but it feels good. Check on our shrimp. It is coming along. But if you ask me, I must say that's it, you know? So I'm going to be cooking it again inside of the pasta. So I'm just gonna switch. I'm gonna take the pasta and put it here to the cooking area. And I'm gonna take the shrimp. It here now 
Uh, like I said, this is the last step. I have a hard time staring properly because I'm using one hand with the camera one hand and it's not giving me the best stare that I want but obviously after this I'm going to do it so that's th this is the time where I like to put my green pepper and my cilantro because I don't like frying those too much so I'm just gonna put them here and I told you that I'm putting a little more seasoning here too so I'm using the seasoning here putting a little more as much as you need um, I need my black pepper I'm um, just is this black pepper yeah adding the black pepper in it and then I'm adding my this is just like a seasoning that I use I bought from the Asian stores it's like a white little seasoning I use that too because I feel like it makes the flavor come out really really nicely and then just like a little bit of all the seasoning that I used on the shrimp I'm gonna use them again on the pasta guys and just like that that's the end result everything is gone everything in my kitchen is clean when I finish cooking I like leaving things clean my glass is filled I'm happy and I'm about to tear it up I'm about to do a mukbang so stay tuned don't log off just yet because the recipe is done watch the mukbang gorge and it tastes good I did the tasting test don't play me my seasoning is on point and it tastes amazing and I'm hungry and I can't wait to eat it and you guys if you do the same recipe let me know how that turned out okay bye see you guys before I go I just wanted to talk about levels in the hot sauce this is what a lot of people consider hot sauce we have it in the house I don't know why because you know what I mean it just like it to me it tastes like vinegar okay this is not hot sauce. This has no hotness in it whatsoever. It's water to me. Now, look at this one. Now, this is hot sauce, okay? This is scotch bonnet, that pepper pepper. I'm going to show you, like, how it looks like. This is this. This is, like, green, but it's supposed to be the red one. I'm pretty sure there was some green one mixed in there. But my sister makes this banging hot sauce and she gets mad when I eat it all the time because <laughs> I don't make it all the time because she's the only one that makes it and you know it hurts her eyes and everything but this shit is lit and so that's the hot sauce and they say no hot sauce that's my plate and I'm coming to you with a mukbang <laughs>